So now we're going to take um, the road that, what's her name, Agnes, Agnes. Betsy walked every, twice a day was it? What did you say, Magnus? I said Agnes. Oh. Been watching Mrs Brown's boys again. <laughs> Man. Okay, daughter. Did I mention it's hot today? I think it did. It's hot. Don't think it should take much more off though. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of regretting being overdressed. So this path goes right down through to below a beach, I suppose, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I suppose. Just, I uh, can't remember what the road's called. It'd be below it, wouldn't it, of some Is sort, it? yeah. The road coming out of Ramsey. Because this would have been the original road. Yeah, it's a bit rough. Back, back in the day, actually. Back in my day, go on. Back in, in 1888, um, what's it? That Gelling one decided to go via Neil's place because it was cleaner than going on this track. Really? This, um, in December it would have been all muddy and wet. I mean, when we get to the bottom near where she was found, it's, it's like a cliff, really. Yeah, we're, clever, we're walking down today and it's a lovely summer's day, but you're right. Most of you'd be a bog, what, wouldn't it? What was that? Am I? I'm right. <laughs> you say that so often. <laughs> Don't worry, folks, that'll be edited out straight away. <laughs> I'm right. We're not going to put all the path in, but it's a public footpath. Lovely to walk it. Take it right down to the bottom. We're going to go through the glen. There's a couple of things you want to see on the way. The music we use is a band called Mactulloch Vannon. It suits our job, I think. And they uh, kind of let us use their music. It's like me, this thing now, Carla. What? Behaving itself. That makes a change. I have to rein you in sometimes. You do it very nicely. Well, I've got to be patient with you, haven't I, old man? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you hard of hearing. Did you not hear that? I hear what I need to. I, I know. Don't I know it? We're there yet? Yeah, I was just thinking, you know those milk, it's called milk churn or something. Yeah. Yeah. Carrying them all the way down. She wouldn't carry that, would she? Yeah, she would do, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm not sure what cows she'd have, they wouldn't milk like today's cows, but she'd be carrying, I don't know. I mean, does she take the churn down there and then Yeah, she'd dish it, it out, she'd there. have a little, um, like a scoop of some sort. Yeah. I'd imagine she would carry twice a day, she'd probably carry four gallons as well. That's a lot, isn't it? Two gallon cans, yeah, it'd be slung around her neck. Right. I'm surprised she wasn't able to fight this guy off, because she'd be well muscly, wouldn't she? We ever thought so. Yeah. Then again, she she was hit across the head 14 but, times, so well, kind of that is it for you. Doesn't help, does it? No. She's probably taken from behind. Yeah. Can we say that these days? Say whatever you want, you're old. <laughs> <laughs> you can get away with it, can't you? I think so. <clears throat> oh, look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? See the uh, yeah. tides rail today, isn't it? Yeah, when we get to those arches, our boys are going to be lovely. 
absolutely. Yeah. I've kept the frog spawn in mind today. Mm, frog spawn. <laughs> it's not what you think, folks, honestly. We're not having frog spawn sandwiches. Carla doesn't like the seed in tomatoes. Oh, well, I'm going to grin and bear it today, see if I can put my brave pants on. Oh, you got your big man's pants on? Yeah. I gave you more tomatoes than me, though. Mm. I couldn't cope with all that, no way. Well, I'll need the energy, don't I? You will. Because I'm going to wait at the bottom while you run up and get the car. <laughs> There's the one word there I'm not keen on. Run. 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 See, the track is getting a bit rougher now, isn't it? Yeah, I'll put it on a bit. So I switched the video off for quite a lot because the track didn't change much, but now we're much narrower part on the rock. <sighs> and it's even hotter. Nice bit of shade, actually. That dappledness, nice, isn't it? Mm. Why? Dappledness. Oh, yeah. Scrabble champ, you know. Okay. Oh, Alman Scrabble champion. I am not worthy. 74, 75, 76. <laughs> cool. And with a superstar. Not that I ever tell anybody because I'm very modest. Not only have you authored three books, you're a Scrabble champion. <laughs> I bow down to you. Now nah, we're talking. <laughs> Yeah, when I was at school, believe it or not, I went to school. Yay! I couldn't write. And when I was naughty, which was fairly often, do you know what they used to make me do? Carla? Write. When I was naughty at school, do you know what I had to do? Lines. Yeah. I'd end up doing line after line after line because I couldn't write. You must have done it somehow. So I sat on a, on a desk with a guy who was dyslexic and I couldn't write. What a combination to go through English lessons. But then, as you write, Carla I said, I you were a little bugger at school. I was a little bugger. I, I didn't go to you, school much. You still haven't grown up, really, have you? <laughs> this is as old as I get. Ooh. Oh, that's that other gate down there. Where's that one go to? Then? You Sorry. get through here, Penny. We're looking Good. for who's who's yeah. place we're looking for in here, Carla. This is uh, Corkle's, Mr. Corkle. Come on. And he was one of the ones who found her. Uh, Goldsmith found her, some guy called Goldsmith. He was coming up from Ramsey. Right. So on the way up, he'd found her, and Corker was on the way down going to work. So it was they both worked in a quarry. So I don't know where the quarry is, but I'm guessing it's around here. Yeah, it must have been. It was, yeah. If they're walking, they wouldn't walk this way for nothing, would they? So, yeah. Um, so we're going to Corker's house now. Right. I'll manage. You don't worry about me. There's no mm. holes to fall down today. Mm. Luckily, don't trip over that. I was just waiting for it. You were. Uh, you'd have oh. dashed in to help. Like shit. I'd be the first to laugh. Like shit, you would. You're not allowed to swear. You can't say that. You sure this thing's this way? Yep. Up here. Um. Yeah, it's up here. So all the girls say. <laughs> My directions aren't the best. Remember, we came last time and got lost. Yeah, last time we here, folks, to do a recce. Penny. We, we couldn't even find the bleeding reservoir. Shut up. I thought, well, there she said, 18 million litres of water and we couldn't find it. No, uh, uh, as I've explained to you over and over, 
which I'm right, the glen where we were going, there's a tree that's fell down so we couldn't get round and then had to give up all hope. I think the word here, folks, is bollocks. This is nice and cool now. Yeah. It is warm. Oh, really. oh. In a few weeks, these uh, plants will all be in flower. It'll be a riot of colour. to my buddies. Me too. I'm hungry. And a few other things. So I've only got buddies. There's the reservoir down there. Well bless my soul. So when was the reservoir built then Carla? Um, eighteen eighty four. Sounds right. And then they filled it in in 1886 or 5, 17 million gallons of water. And we missed it. And we missed it. <laughs> yes, filled it in. Uh, I think it was that year. Well, as usual, some will put us right, I'm sure. Let's have a look. Not often I'm wrong, but I'm right again. Hey! Oh, gosh. <laughs> I bet you love coming out with me. I want a comment, really. <laughs> I feel like a pack horse. She walks unfettered. I carry all the sandwiches, the drinks. I had to make them, though, to be fair. I wonder if that was a quarry. Big open gap of something, huh? It's a quarry of some sort anyway, you're right there. Yeah, there's several of those up here. Yeah. They use the stone for the walls and the Thalton's, wouldn't they? Mm. Repairs or whatever. Oh, you sure there's Thalton's up here? Hey? You sure it's up here? Yes, it, it, there's a turning off somewhere that we need to go down. As far as I can we'll be back up at the top. <laughs> It's definitely up here, don't worry. Pardon? It's definitely up here, don't worry. There's a turning on the right somewhere. I'll know it when I see it. How many times have I heard that folks since last year, you wouldn't believe? Ah, stop it's just up here. Down the way. Just on the way. Around the corner. Just around the corner. Ooh. Do you not remember us walking down this way last time? Yeah, I do. Yeah. We're nearly there. I think it was easier. When Carla says she's always right, occasionally she's wrong when it was today. Wrong path. Sweating like an idiot. But hey ho, isn't it nice to be out? I can't remember everything. No, bless your cotton socks. It's an age thing. So along this path somewhere is our little uh, goal. think back in the day, 1800s, whatever, this was all just a field. Yeah, it's hard to believe it, isn't it, when you walk into the forest now. Um, this little glen, I think, 
Well, some was about 10 acres. Ramsey Water Board bought it in 1890-something and turned it into a glen. It was, no, it was uh, 1964 when the trees were planted. Yeah, but the glen was open. Oh, was it? A lot earlier than that, yeah. How you do this holding the camera work all the time? Because I'm a hero. See the little. Oh, I'm looking at that. Little ruin there. Where oh, yeah. See it. Now you're taking my job. I know. Stone, I missed it, folks. Stone, I missed it. Gee. That's the five egg. Yeah, it's big, gotta be. Big people in Ramsey. Yeah, nice roomy one. Get let rip in there, couldn't you? <laughs> this little bridge has probably been here 150 more, 200 years maybe. The stones are so well worn. On the way to this house here. This is still part of the row and intact. Although I fancy the name of it is Balakrink. I'm sure somebody put us right. Well, this is Corkle's house. Although there's a, I think it's a typo in the book because it says Corkish. Does it? Yeah. Right. But in the actual story, it says Corkle. Assume we can walk in on that. That's the, um, to hold your thatch on, isn't it? Well done. I'm a good girl. You are a good girl. So, you reckon in that Max, Max Murray's book, it was um, Corkle, not Corkish? Corkle, yeah. Because all the way through the telling of the murder, they say his name is Corkle, but on the actual picture it says Corkish mm. on the map. And yeah. it's more likely to be Corkle because Corkle was a common name in Mackled area. Yep. And do you know where she was supposed to be buried? Apparently it's uh, Mackled Church. Right. But I don't think you can actually see her headstone, but her family's there. Right. Yeah. Because the crows did stay in that Dream Lang farm for a long time. After she was, yeah. even after she passed away. Ah, oh, right. Okay, see what we've got here. Well, again, could you imagine the view here that he would have had? And he would have been watching that, um, the reservoir being done. Yeah, yeah, we've got some pictures of the reservoir getting built, which I've put with it. And when the trees weren't here, he'd be overlooking the whole valley. There's a little fireplace in there, right? Eh? Might have to go around the other way, though. Can you take a picture of that with your phone? Oh, I've got one somewhere, yeah. God, we need that one. Did you camp here one night? There's a fire there. I think people do come over here to camp, apparently. Yeah, they do. I'm not sure where they want to be because I think it'd be a midge heaven at night. Mm. It's one thing I hate. Big fire, though. Mm. So I don't know what these outbuilds would be. We know where the house was, or is. That would have been the house there. See that tube above your head, Carla? The inner tube. Somebody's tried to hang themselves up here. <laughs> Full of doom and gloom. Well, they didn't actually do it, but they got 85 bumps on the head. 85 what? Bumps on the head. Doing, 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 doing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I didn't laugh at your crap jokes. <laughs> well, nobody else does. Kettle's on. Is it? Mm. So Mrs. Cork has got the tea going. <clears throat> it's very hot. Uh, did I mention it was hot today? It is really warm, I have to agree with you. Even I think. You want to mop your brow? What are you going to mop it with, girl? Um. well, I don't know. You haven't got Some much prickled on. bushes here, that'll do. I'll be okay then. Honestly, I'm <laughs> quite happy with the sweat. What's that bit in the wall over there? Um, 
before they put the geese when they hatched eggs out. Really? Sorry again. Are you being serious? I'm always serious. You never know with you. Well, it'd be to keep food dry, like salt and sugar and stuff, if they had it. I could afford to buy it. Good sized fireplace, they wouldn't be cold. Yep. Probably have peat to heat. Peat to heat? Peat to heat. <laughs>